Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I was scrolling on Instagram and I saw some tie-dye looks and I was like really intrigued by them, but this one in particular really struck my eye. So I thought I would try to recreate it today using my Makeup A Murder Neon Poison Pigments. So if you wanna know how I recreated this look, then keep on watching. Like usual, I'm going to prime my eyes using my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot and my M173 brush. Now I'm going to take my um, 421 brush and my foundation and just make a line where I want my eyeshadow to stop and kind of create the shape for our eye look. Alright, it's going to be very big and dramatic, but I'm excited. Taking a M431 brush and the Neon Red Makeup A Murder Poison Pigment, I'm going to begin by putting a dot right underneath my eyebrow. I'm going to take the neon orange pigment and put some right around that red and blend them together. My orange brush is broken, so don't laugh at me. I go back in with the red and just add a little bit more of that. Now I'm going to take the neon yellow pigment and do the same thing. I do the same thing with the green pigment. I'm gonna go back in with the yellow and just layer over that green a little bit. Now for blue. I'm gonna go back in with some green. All right, and now I'm going to add some purple. Now I'm gonna go back in with the blue and blend that in with the purple. And lastly, I'm going to go in with pink and then I'm just going to speed through while I finish this first rainbow. So I already kind of messed up, but it's fine. So I'm just going to take some micellar water on a Q-tip and clean up this area and kind of cut the crease a little bit to prepare for the next little rainbow. All right, I'm going to prime my eyes one more time with my same MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. Okay, so this one is going to start here and then just kind of end up in this area. It's just going to be like a big kind of teardrop shape. So I'm going to uh, gonna start off with yellow because that's the complementary color to purple. And then I'm going to work my way into, I think blue is going to be the final color for this one. Alright, now I'm going to do the same thing with some micellar water and a q-tip and just clean this up. Okay, so this next one is going to just be in the crease. It's going to follow all the way to the end. I don't really know what color I want to start it out with, but I know that I want to end it with green. So I think I'm going to start off on this side with the green first and then just work my way over here and figure it all out from that. Now for the final one. I'm so ready to be done with this look. Even though it is beautiful, it has taken a lot out of me. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to take the red and start in the center of my lid and do another um, circle.
Now I'm going to do the same thing to the other eye and clean this up and I will be right back. All right, let's pause the eyes for a minute and start working on the face. So first I'm going to prime using my Benefit Professional Primer. Now I'm going to apply a light layer of my ColourPop No Filter Foundation. And I'm going to blend this out with my M439 brush. Now I'm going to conceal the highest areas of my face with my ColourPop No Filter Concealer. And I'm going to blend this out using my Morphe M173 brush. Now I'm going to set where we just concealed using my Morphe E48 brush and my Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder in the shade 05. Now I'm going to set the rest of my face using my Morphe M527 brush and my Maybelline Fit Me Translucent Press Powder. I'm going to contour using my Morphe E4 brush and my Anastasia Beverly Hills Powder Contour Kit. For blush like usual, going in with my ColourPop Super Shock Blush in the shade Holiday on my Morphe M405 brush. For highlight, I'm going to use a mixture of Marshmallow from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Sugar Glow Kit and Ranch from the Shane Dawson Jeffree Star Conspiracy Palette on my Morphe M501 brush. Now I'm going to zoom you in so we can finish off the lower lash line. So I'm going to do the same thing on the lid that I did on the lower lash line. So I'm going to start with red in the middle and then work my way to purple on the outer corners. <music> Lastly for lips, I'm going to use the shade Odessa by NYX. Here's the finished look guys, I really hope you enjoyed today's video and if you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe, hit that little bell icon so you never miss out when I upload and I will see you in the next video. Bye!